Hey, hello guys, this is Lewis with my review of the Cuscaso uh, model M730. Um, I have not see no, you know, review on this tablet PC on the internet because it's uh, kind of like a very brand new tablet. So I decided to make one for the people out there who just got this tablet and, um, you know, and are finding things, trying to find out things about it. Um, first of all, I'm going to get to the good things and then, then we're going to go to the bad things. The good thing about this tablet, tons of applications, Android Market, it runs on Android, uh, supports Flash, um, you could do lots of things, play video games, it has tons and tons of applications that you could download from the net, and you could download from the Android Market. Um, Bad things about it. Poor customer support. Um, you go only, like, every time you, you call customer support, they keep telling you to come to send them back to geeks.com. That's the place where I got it from. So don't expect no type of customer support for this product. Um, basically, the things that you that you find, figure out, you figure out about yourself. Um, that's another thing, um, the calibration, the G sensor is terrible, there's going to be times when you press on a button and another button is going to come out, or press on an application and another application is going to come out, um, another, another bad thing about a tool is when it's charging, don't, you can't even use this thing when it's charging because it goes so screwy. Uh, I talked to the guy, you know, for customer support, and he just gave me a bunch of BS about, like, it does that the first couple of times, and that's a bunch of hooey. Don't even believe that. The tablet is not a bad tablet for the price, you know, if you own a budget for a hundred and semi dollars, but when you put in the cons and the pros, um... Basically, you know, the, the cons win over the pros, even though it has a it has a digital camera, which is, like, you know, pretty poor, and it takes poor pictures. Um, my brother, you know, he's taking a couple of pictures, you know, they can't come out pretty poor. I did not like the quality of the camera. Um, it does have, you know, you know, voice recognition software. So, you know, you go, like, um, basically, like, like, say, like, taco. You know. <laughs> Let me try it again. Hold on. Um, taco. See? And a bunch of options come out. See? Taco Bell. That's pretty neat. I like that, that aspect of it, you know. But, you know, the other thing that I like about it, too, is the interface a little bit. And when you press over here, all the apps come out. See all the apps? You can download them for free off the Android Market. Or you can go to pandaapplication.com and you get them for free too. They got tons of games, real good games with real good graphics. Believe it, I was very surprised about this tablet, like, like the, the, the way the games really look on it. You know, it's surprising. They even have, they even have Resident Evil 4. I mean, I haven't tried it, but I heard that it was pretty good. They even have a torrent for it. You can download your movies and they got the zip. Then you go on zip it and stuff. And they got Facebook. You know. They even got Skype. You know, they even have Skype, which is like pretty weak in here. But besides that, you know, 
the tablet, the tablet, like the cars really win over this tablet because you're gonna be actually struggling with this tablet, like most of the time, trying to get it to work instead of enjoying the the, the beautiful things that it has to offer. So, if I was gonna buy this tablet and you know, and, and, and I would spend like the regular price of a hundred and something dollars, I would try to get it on the, on the like you know like, like sixty, seventy, or eighty dollars. You know, that seems to be fair for this tablet. Um, but, like, if you actually get the damn G-Bar, G-Bar sensor to actually, you know, work, you know, because, like, that's, that's one of the major problems with this damn thing, is the damn G-Bar. See? Mm -hmm. That's the toast, toast. Can't even want to press that. See, that's a decent calibration. See, it's supposed to be the calibrated thing for it. And then you're supposed to, like, lay it on a flat surface. And then you press it. And it's supposed to be fine now. Can you go back? Another thing about this thing too is that it turns sideways like all the freaking time you have to go like this. See I didn't even want to press that and it came out. It's too over sensitive sometimes too. So you can even enjoy Netflix on this thing. It's pretty good. Anyway, that's my review of the F730 Cocasso tablet PC. So I'll be hollering at you people later. Peace.